morning. Morning. How are you this morning? It's a week to come up. That's sunrise. Oh boy. We got Chris some coffee and enjoyed a pretty amazing sunrise. It was another day of heading north on the Atlantic Ocean. We passed the infamous Asbury Park, made famous by musicians like Bruce Springsteen and John Bon Jovi. The weather was perfect and our sails were up. One of the greatest things so far in our time on Rum Tot is the marine life and today put on quite a show. As the footage rolls by, there is only so much my phone camera could pick up. What we saw and tried to capture as best we could was the most stingrays either one of us had ever seen. We got close to our destination for the night, Sandy Hook Bay, which is at the northern tip of New Jersey. I took over the wheel for a while and I really enjoyed the peaceful sail. As you can see, Captain Chris was enjoying some peaceful time too. We got to our anchorage and dropped the hook as well as our fishing lines something this guy was not happy about. We caught a few flounder too, as well as a sea robin. Don't tell Chris, but I may have outfished him that night. And on the grill they went. We enjoyed a monster plate of food while doing one of our favorite nighttime activities, watching Mr. Ball and tell scary stories. Seriously, check out his channel. We'll put a link in the description below. Hi. It's back to filming Amy. Oh, good. With zero chances of making the video. <laughs> Does this have zero chances? We I shall can't see. I can't say for sure. I don't know. Uh, watching follow the boat and preparing to do a little cooking. We met up with a great old college friend, Phil, and uh, he and I shared some old boat stories. Uh, we'll tell you about it sometime. What? That is the most generous, the most generous I... I'm so lucky to have wonderful people in my life because that is the most generous right there. You can't you can't ask for more than that. Got some good meats. And on the way home we passed a family gardening. That was kind of cool. Yeah, and we traded them a beer for they gave us all these tomatoes. Five fresh from the garden jalapenos. One cucumber. Crazy. Man. Damn. Damn. I'm just gonna bring you. Sadly, our time was up and we had to leave, but we'll be back. We have a good time. Did you have fun meeting up with your friend Phil after seeing him for how long? Have you seen him since last time? I think we figured about 26 years or so. Yeah. <laughs> Half our lives almost. Wow. 
That's amazing. Connection was good, great times, and uh, we're gonna connect again in a month or so. We'll come back down this way. So awesome. Yeah, so good. So generous, what a wonderful family. Great people. I love the brothers, man. Yeah. Crossing from Sandy Hook towards the New York Harbor rendered conversations we'd had for months. Our sail through New York City, up the East River, and out the Long Island Sound. With a thick and heavy fog postponing our departure, we got to New York in clear weather. Running with the big boys, we passed by several massive cargo ships whose wake alone sent Rumtot for a roll. Intimidating, exciting, and awestruck. Red Buoy number two was announcing our arrival, and with that, our excitement became a tremendous sense of wonderment. What do you think, Chris? Hey. Hey, the <laughs> lifetime dream. Go sailing by the Statue of Liberty. Manhattan skyline. Pretty nice. As we grew closer to the Statue of Liberty, I couldn't help but reflect upon history. To be able to sail into New York Harbor as people have done for hundreds of years was a powerful feeling. And just like that, the most amazing thing happened. The wind was in our favor, we shut down the engine, and let the sails take us directly past the Statue of Liberty. Onward we go, towards the Brooklyn Bridge. Knowing that my family and so many American families have immigrant ancestors that came into New York by ship brought many memories and stories from my father, who was born and raised in this city more than 70 years ago. So much has changed, but here, so much has stayed the same. And speaking of family, my Uncle Joe, Aunt Lisa, and Cousin Juliana happened to be visiting New York, and at the very moment we passed under the Brooklyn Bridge, they caught us coming through with the enthusiastic waves and joyous cheer. Under swift currents, we ripped under the bridge and passed the Lower East Side in wonderment of the new perspective of this iconic city. Never been to New York and not like, walked around the city. Yeah, it's wild. You just float by. Yeah. Such a different, interesting perspective. Yeah, you really get to see a lot. You really get to see a lot. In what felt like the blink of an eye and a fulfilling experience at the same time, we went under the last few bridges before New York City spit us out into the Long Island Sound. We sailed past Rikers Island and LaGuardia Airport and headed to our anchorage for the night, Port Washington. But we still had one more adventure in us before the day was over. Let's walk uphill to the train station. Yeah, we're almost three quarters of a mile. Walk to, and it's hot. Sounds like a great idea. Yes. After a fulfilling day of boat life, we quickly dropped a hook on Rum Tot, cleaned ourselves up for a night on the town, and began our journey into the city. We caught the train in Port Washington, destination Penn Station, New York City. Okay. All right. We are on the train station. On the way to see Lisa and Joe. Yay! Hey. Alright, we're now going under the East River. If we just sail through the East River. Yeah. And now we're on a train going under the East River. <laughs>
After trains, subways, busy streets, and normal city madness, we were in the heart of New York and left Penn Station in search of a good happy hour. The library was a divey little place with a great selection of beers and a projection screen showing old black and white films. Today's feature, Eyes Without a Face. Creepy. Go see it. And then we met up with the Fresky gang and had a wonderful dinner. Happy birthday, Lisa! A little after midnight, we finally got back to Port Washington and Rum Tot. We were home. <laughs> hey everybody, thanks for watching our video today. We really had a fun time. Yeah, we made it to Norwalk, Connecticut, and I've reconnected with a great old friend of mine, Alan, who is really going to help us put Rum Tot uh, back into tip-top shape. So we are anticipating a lot of boat projects, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Peace.